Alright so guys Galaxy S20 handsets are finally here. They bring several new premium features and upgraded hardware so let's take a look at the top 10 features of this behemoth of a handset which could arguably be the smartphone of the year 2020. The Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 6.9 inch QHD Plus display with 120Hz refresh rate and 240Hz touch sensing rate which means smoother animations, something games and apps will benefit from the most. Higher touch sensing rate will mean it is going to respond to your touch pretty quickly. For comparison, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has 120Hz touch sensitivity so you are surely going to notice a difference. The S20 Ultra has 12GB of RAM for the base variant and can have up to a massive 16GB. Yes, you hear that right 16GB of RAM on a smartphone. We live in a world where we want everything to happen in an instant. 16GB RAM will make sure all your apps and games can stay open in the memory which will let you open the apps and games in an instant without ever refreshing them. The amount of RAM doesn't make your phone run smoother or let your apps run better. It only decides how many apps you can run at one time. The other standout feature of the S20 Ultra 5G is that 100x zoom, which comes mounted on the side of the camera apparatus. Zooming in the first 10 to 20x on the S20 Ultra produces some decent photos but things quickly deteriorate after that. By the time you get the 100x zoom, you are basically taking a picture of a blob of pixels that somewhat resemble your subject. But while the 100x zoom feels a bit like a pretty trick, you can still capture pretty decent shots with more reasonable zoom levels without feeling as though you have lost too much fidelity. The S20 Ultra has a mammoth 5000 mAh battery. That is insane, but considering the other hardware of the Ultra such as 120Hz, 6.9 inch display, which will eat up a lot of battery juice, 5000 mAh battery should help push the device a day of heavy use with this. The S20 Ultra sports 45W of the fast wire charging and 50W of wireless charging and 50W of reverse wireless charging. Even with an insane price tag, something will not include the 45W charging in the box. You need to purchase it separately by the paying 50 bucks. They will give 25W charging instead which is pretty good by the way, charges the device pretty quickly. The S20 Ultra is the first Samsung handset to use the latest Gorilla Glass 6 protection on the both front and back glass as well as on the camera module. The S20 had the Gorilla Glass 6 only at the front and 5 at the back. So the Ultra can survive more drops and from high, higher heights it also has a 40 megapixel front camera, 128GB of base storage that goes up to 512GB and an option to expand it up to 1.5TB with a micro SD card slot. Best in class processor, a premium class chassis compared to aluminium and also an insane price tag of $1400. Thankfully, there is a 4G variant too in countries with no 5G infrastructure and that will likely cost 100 to 150 less. Do let me know what do you think about this handset and as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.